It's wonderful to see that you and your organisation understand the importance of reducing, recycling and repurchasing soft plastic. Let's start by talking about soft plastic. Firstly, what is it? Soft plastic is flexible packaging that can be scrunched up in your hand. Things like bubble wrap, plastic bags and food packaging. Check your product's packaging for the Australasian recycling label. It's on many products and it helps you put the right thing in the right bin. Just remember, to recycle the soft plastic, it must be clean, dry and empty. At Plastic Police, we have a simple mission to solve the soft plastic waste problem through education and action. The key to this is the creation of a circular economy. Instead of take, make and dispose, we value waste as a resource and ensure nothing is wasted. So what is the problem with soft plastic? Firstly, there is simply too much soft plastic and over 90% of it is sent to landfill or makes its way into the environment. By its nature, it's extremely lightweight, so it easily makes its way into the ocean. It is estimated that by 2025, for every three tonnes of fish, there'll be one tonne of plastic. Wildlife often mistake plastic for food, which is incredibly harmful. Plastic doesn't break down, it breaks up into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics. And microplastics have been found in seafood, bottled water and even beer. Scientists actually claim that the average person is ingesting a credit card's worth of plastic every single week. One of the biggest problems is that plastic lasts forever. Almost every piece of plastic that has ever been made still exists in some form today. But this is also one of plastic's great advantages. It lasts, so it becomes something new when we recycle it. The key to reducing the impact of soft plastic is to follow these three simple steps. Reduce, recycle and repurchase. The most powerful step is to reduce the use of soft plastic. To reduce plastic at work, you can make a big difference by just asking and acting on these four questions. What packaging is coming into the business? What sustainable swaps can be implemented at work? How can we redesign products and processes to reduce waste? What waste am I giving my customers to deal with? We can also choose to refuse single-use plastic in our life. The next step is to recycle. When you've reduced what you can, recycle the rest where possible. Place suitable soft plastics in the bag stand for recycling. Ensure no contaminants like food, hard plastic, paper and metal are recycled with your soft plastic. Here's the great part. Your soft plastic is recycled into different products like outdoor furniture, garden beds, gym equipment and even equipment for dog parks. Even asphalt in roads has been made using recycled soft plastic and other recycled materials. And those wheel stops you find at car parks, they can be made from recycled soft plastic too. As locals, it's great to know that these products are made right here in Australia and that they can be recycled for years to come. The final step is repurchasing products made from Australian recycled soft plastic. This increases demand, which is essential for the recycling of soft plastics to continue. A great example is John Holland collecting and recycling soft plastics from its infrastructure projects and turning that into asphalt for their projects. The University of Newcastle has saved over two tonnes of soft plastic from landfill and this is the equivalent of over 500,000 plastic bags. This has been recycled into outdoor furniture for their campus, as well as wheel stops, decking and bollards. Organisations have also joined forces with local schools to recycle soft plastic into school benches for their playgrounds. We invite you to join thousands of people and organisations reducing and recycling their soft plastic. This shows that we do have the power to make a difference, both at home and at work. We'd love to challenge you to become a champion organisation and reduce, recycle and repurchase soft plastics at your work. We've seen it work with other organisations and now it's time to join forces and tackle soft plastics together.